Hello, it's Racky. So I want to share you guys with a story of me going home from work today. Uh, when I got to work, it started to snow. And it's safe to say that I live in South Sweden and we don't really get a lot of snow here. So when we do, it's complete and utter chaos. Uh, I mean the 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 plows or whatever you want to call it. They don't they, they don't start after like half a day, and if, if if it's been snowing all night and all day, a half a day they start. So it's complete chaos. Uh, and I got to work and I realized by the by the like a half an hour before I uh, was supposed to go home, it's been snowing the entire day. I wasn't really happy going home, but like I want to go home. So I got out to the, the parking lot of my workplace and I can see that, I don't know which car is mine due to the fact that there is like too much snow. So I had to uh, brush away some snow like over the uh, license plate. And I think it took one or two cars before I found my own. And it took me about 15 minutes, uh, 15 minutes to clear uh, the snow from my car. And in Sweden, you get a ticket if you have uh, if you have snow on the roof and you don't clear it, and it's it's blowing off while you're driving into other cars behind you. You get a ticket for that in Sweden, which is which is kind of fair. I get it. I get it. Uh, so I was driving home, and I can almost see directly that the 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 roads are death traps. I work in a school that is. I mean, I was gonna say rural because that's just. Too much but it's away from the big cities <clears throat> i live in a bigger city uh it takes me it takes me about 20 minutes of drive to work it took me about 40 to get home because of the death trap that is roads with ice and snow and they really suck at plowing it they always leave this amount left come on it's gonna freeze up and kill people so i was driving home as i came down like a, on a on a I'm not gonna say hill, but a bit of a slope. Like I can see people start to blink their lights at me with the headlights. And, and normally that's like a warning for cops. So I, I just assumed, all right, there's gonna be a cop here somewhere. But it wasn't, it was an accident. And I stood in line. I mean, I think it was like 15 minutes. So I was kind of happy uh, because of the, uh, the accident happened an hour early. The tow truck, go past me in the other lane and that complete that car was completely trashed he was probably driving too fast and he slided um, i'm gonna say a, a tree and that freaked me out a bit because that's so easily it can easily happen to, I mean, to anyone but i'm not driving that fast so i'm taking it really slow my, my my best hope is that i can stay behind a bus or a truck and just blame them if it goes too slow that kind of makes sense and when when I uh, started to drive again, uh, it loosened up pretty pretty fast. We get up to I don't know 70, 65, 70 my, uh, kilometers per hour. I don't know how about fa fast that is. You can Google that shit. I don't know. And I can see there's a there's a bridge in a small river, and my brain said to me, "You're gonna lose control and you're gonna end up in the river." Man. That was terrifying. For a fraction of two milliseconds, I almost shat my pants because that was, I don't know why I thought that, that was terrifying. I don't know how it is at your place where you live. Please tell me in the comment section, what happens if it's snowing and how do you feel like driving on ice and snow roads? I have a good car, I got good tires. They're completely new. But I hate it, and that's because I, I never do it. Tell me about you. I wanna know how it is where you live. If you got snow at all, if you don't have any snow, well, be happy, because it's shit. I'm gonna see if I can, I don't know if we can turn around. I don't think I can. Let's see if you can see this. This is across from my home parking lot. It looks beautiful, Ricky. Oh, snow. No. See you next time.